Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul. It's a pretty quick one, I think, but I'm chatty, so who knows? Um, yes, so I have a Dollar Tree haul. <laughs> oh, I know what I was gonna tell you. So I just cashed in my first $25 from Fetch Rewards and $25 from Ibotta towards Christmas gifts. I'll go over the details with what I did and what I'm doing with it with my budget video that I'll have coming up at the end of the month or the beginning of February. And, but if you have not joined Fetch or Rewards, all you do is you scan your receipts and you get money, which is nice. And I'm saving up all of mine for Christmas. If you're interested, the links are in the description below and you get money for signing up and I get money for you signing up using my link. So if you're interested, um, go ahead and check it out. I have my cup of cheer mug. Now, some people might call that a Christmas mug, but I just feel like coffee is a cup of cheer. Oh, I don't know if I showed you what my cousin got me for Christmas. Oh, let's not go that way. We have a candle. Hi, Dobby. I have Wellington and Alex. I'm just trying not to burn myself here. Both sitting here in front of me. Mr. Wellington, did you say hi to our friends? Oh, I don't think you did. Did you say hi to our friends? Yes. Okay, go away. Thank you. Uh, my cousin got me some lovely gifts, but one of the things that she got me was an air freshener for my car that smells like coffee. So my car smells delicious. Um, are you sitting on me while I do this? No? Yeah? No. Let's get down. Thank you. All right, let's get going. I don't have a whole lot here. I'm kind of in between seasons at my Dollar Tree. And, oh, I bought, had a panic attack. I was at my one Dollar Tree in Reynoldsburg on 256 when they're taking down the dollar signs. I said, oh, you're not switching, are you? She said, not right now. We're just taking the signs down. I'm like, err. Because mine are still a dollar. Hi, Bubba. Okay. Yes, baby, I know. Oh, I'm just going to do this in no particular order, but I did find this notebook sleeve. And this is the brand High Pro. It fits up to a 10.2 inch notebook or net book. I'm thinking um, for my iPad. Hi. Hi. Apparently, this is how we're going to do this haul today. Um, yeah. Anyway. My planner might even fit in here. For travel, that would be fantastic. So I'm just taking out the foam. But yeah, it's neoprene, it's padded. I'm 100% sure my iPad will fit in here or my Kindle or my notebook. I mean, my planner for travel. So I'm like, oh, I gotta get that. Also a book would fit in here if you're traveling or just wanna store things, but it's really nice and squishy. So I grabbed that. I have something else, I think, from that brand in here, but we're just doing bags. Um, I picked up a set of these. I am they are just condiment bottles. So fun fact, I like Duke's mayonnaise and I can't, but I also like the squeeze bottle for when I make a sandwich. So I'm gonna try to put man, my Duke's in here so I can have a squeeze bottle. Cause mine, de they don't come in a squeeze, or my store didn't have them in a squeeze bottle. So I grabbed that thinking that would be fun. Um, I picked up some heart-shaped balloons. I saw, and I think it was on TikTok. Could have been Pinterest. But um, a woman took a heart-shaped balloon and then the glue with the twine and made a giant heart. For like table decor and I said oh that might need to happen right my bag to take upstairs I'm trying to be organized this year guys yes buddy I know um I got some dental guru just some like clackers they came with 60 60 75 eco-friendly charcoal infused floss picks and the flavor is peppermint um I don't my mouth is small, even though I'm loud, and picks work better to floss for me than 
the floss because I can't get that back far back. So I love these. I use them fairly regular. Yep, you're okay, buddy. Um, oh, for my Sarah, for her Easter basket, I found these uh, magical starfish gummies. I'm sorry. They are the cutest things. And these are for Easter baskets. So I'm doing, because right now they're coming out with everything. I'm doing Valentine's gifts and Easter for people. Just little things as I see it. I picked up. This, and it says be happy, and it's just a pencil bag or makeup bag. Um, part of what I'm doing this year is, and again, I'll go over when I do my budgeting, but I'm not stuffing envelopes like sinking funds because I just found it was very overwhelming last year. I just pay my bills out of my cash, I mean, out of my bank account. So I pay all my bills, and then I take out X dollars every two weeks for me to have for spending money. So I'm trying to use cash for spending money and the bills just comes out of my bank account. And I'm doing a $1 challenge where you save your $1. I'm not even counting them. So I needed a, I have a small bag, but I think I'm gonna need a bigger bag. And what you do every, every two weeks for me, I'll just shove all my $1 bills in here. And at the end of the year, we'll see how much we have. So I needed something to put those in. Um, I grabbed some picture hangers. They're like command strips. These are great too for crafting, especially if you wanna like make a big sign and then change out maybe a heart and a clover or whatever, but these are nice for crafting. Um, I picked up one more of these because I'm kind of obsessed with them and I don't want to not have enough. So I think I have enough now. I thought it was broken. So I have 60 of them. But some of them are going to go into my charcuterie board for like appetizers. And one of these is going to go in my craft room. That's that's how I'm rationalizing that. Um, I got a lens cleaning kit. Uh, so it comes with, I don't know what. I don't think much but which is perfectly fine yes it comes with exactly what I needed a little thing so it comes it comes with the cleaning cloth for your glasses which I love these things but this little bottle to keep in my purse having dry skin I'm constantly moisturizing and then I touch my glasses and then I have like right now I have a schmear right here and it drives me nuts so I thought I need something little like this that I can just put in my purse. Okay, well that didn't help at all. Um, put it in my purse and then when my glasses get yucky, I can just, cause a lotion, a lo this will not take off lotion alone. This is kind of tiny, but I do have larger ones I can put in my purse and then wash, I wash them. So that was good. That's what I thought it was. Uh, this bag, I bought more light bulbs. I love the 100 watt. I really like a bright light. So I grabbed a couple more because I don't often at my store see the 100 watts. So I grabbed three more of those because I used all the ones I purchased before. And I needed two more of these for over my sink in my office, I think. Because I did down here and I did my bedroom, but my office sink has one or two out so i grabbed two more they were great they last i mean these last much longer Are you playing with your mouse alex you got your mouse he's so funny he loves toys so um yeah these are a good deal um they don't last as long as the more expensive ones but i'm okay with that and especially in a room i don't quite use the sink a whole lot i'm fine okay next bag oh I got this little, I thought this was adorable, this little succulent, and it says, life is better when you are laughing. And I'm gonna put this in my wall. I have a wall, like little tchotchke box, and that this will fit in there for springtime. And, oh, I picked this up. I'm not getting much more Valentine stuff, but I saw, again, on TikTok, this woman took the bag of the little tiny hearts and glued them on here, and they were beautiful. I haven't found the little tiny hearts yet, but I wanted to grab these just in case I do. Um, because, yeah, 
I want, I want to make that if I find the little hearts, but I, like I said, I haven't seen them yet. Oh, and then I got this light. It's a work light with magnet. And you know, with the way the world is going right now, I just feel like any extra little battery operated lights I can have. I don't, so where I live, we, our power lines are underground and I have, very infrequently do I lose power. I say that and watch me lose power tonight, but very infrequently do I lose power. However, you know, again, you never know. And this has like a little metal hook on the bottom so you could hang it somewhere as a task light. It would be great for camping. You could hang it in your tent. I just thought this is a really nice little thing. It's on, there's an on off switch. It adheres to most surfaces, magnet and hook. So it can magnet or it can hook and then insert three AAA batteries. Oh, thank you. Sorry, you were hurting my back. He was hurting me. Okay, he's going to get in his bed now. Um, yeah, so I thought this is great. Camping, summer, outdoors, put it in an emergency kit. I do have like an emergency um, kit, preparedness kit for like tornadoes or whatever, but um, yeah, so I need to check that too. I need to check all the batteries in that and make sure that it's up to standard. All right, what do we got over here? Oh, this was the other thing I found. They're not the same brand. This was by World Richmond Manufacture, and this is Alpine. Oh, wow, it's funny. It was distributed by Sears and Sears Roebuck and Company. Um, it's just a hard case for your, um, cameras, little cameras. But for me, when I travel, I bring earbuds, I bring all kinds of like little electronic stuff in this. I'm taking it apart, especially since I do the YouTube channel, I have to bring things. And so I thought, you know, this will hold, um, earbuds. It'll hold a charging block in here and they could throw it in my backpack and it would just be all together. So, because I know that one day I'm going to be able to travel again. I don't know when that day is coming because I, I'm pretty certain that my trip to Canada is going to be canceled at the, uh, we'll know at the end of February, but from what I understand, and maybe you who friends up in Canada might know more than me, but um, the woman that bo we're booking through messaged or her assistant messaged us and said that right now in Ontario, it's five people indoors. The restrictions for indoor gathering and that there's way more than that going to the retreat. So I may not. It's okay. It's okay. All right, let's look at happy stuff. I grabbed Sarah one more bag of this popcorn because I know she loves it. And it's a nice filler for her Valentine basket. It, you know, takes up a little bit of room. So I grabbed that for her. We've all seen that. Gotta say my receipt. Um, I also got this to put a gift in. I'm probably just gonna give her money for her birthday, but I'll put it in this pretty box potentially for her or save it. I just think it's cute. And I think it's a lovely little gift box for this time of year. Um, and also for Sarah's Easter basket, she loves jelly beans. That's like her thing at Easter and Reese PC M&Ms in the carrot. I always have to get her one of those. So I found the Warheads Watermelon Sour Jelly Beans for her. And these little bags are like the perfect size if you have one person to buy for. Is it cost effective? No, probably cheaper if you have a lot of kids or a lot of people, but for one, these are perfect. So for $1 right now, I think I just, excuse me, sir, let's not knock things over. Um, the watermelon jelly bean warheads. I got her those for her Easter basket. And then they had the peeps. Now I know for a fact, A, she doesn't like peeps and B, they're not vegetarian, so she can't have peeps, but she can have jelly beans. Um, pretty sure, I'll read the in ingredients. Sugar corn syrup, food starch. Yeah, there's no gelatin in here. Gelatin is not vegetarian, if you didn't know. So she can't have the peeps, the marshmallow peeps, but she can have peeps. Sir, 
she can have peach jelly beans. Uh, I thought those were cute, so I grabbed her that. This is Alex playing, by the way. He's chasing around his mouse. And then I got her the Starburst. These are not new. These are definitely, 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 definitely new. I've not ever seen these two. Thumbnail. So I grabbed her those. So that's a good start to Easter basket for Sarah. And I don't get her a ton of candy, but I have to get her something. And then I'm sure by now you've all seen these by Jot. One of This is for Sarah's Valentine's Day. And it's just full of post-it notes. And we love page flags, especially for books. And then this one is like a little notepad and the little cherries. And then these are sticky. And I don't know if this middle one is a sticky pad, but I love the cherry. And I thought it's perfect, again, for Valentine's Day for her. And then for me, I love alpaca. And so I got the alpaca one, which has a bunch of page flags. Uh, just a plain notepad, the little circle, and then over here, two little sticky pads. Um, I will tell you, the stickies aren't great on the Jot brand, but when I use them in books or planners, they're fine because the pages hold them, but there's certainly no post-it. So if you really want them to stick, I would say get some of the roll adhesive, the roller tape, and then use it on them if, if you need something to stick longer. But I just thought these were precious. Oh, here, I can open this one. This is mine. And see if that middle one is indeed a, um, all, if they're all sticky notes. I was looking for my trash bag. Okay. Definitely these are sticky notes. These two are definitely. The alpaca is definitely. This is the one I was questioning, and it is a sticky note. And then these are all. So these are all sticky notes, but like over here, they're just little page flags. And I love these for um, bookmarks when I'm reading an actual book. So I love this and it's kind of like a matte finish, which I love. I just love the kind of sleek sophistication, if you will. I mean, if an office supply can be sophisticated, I don't know. Um, I just got some, oh, I did pick up these. I'm gonna share them with my family, but they are Choco Shocks. Chocolate covered wafer bar with hazelnut filling. And these are a product, I read it, in the of the Ukraine, which I find fascinating, that's awesome. So I wanna show you, because I'm gonna do this anyway. On the inside, you get three individual bars. And they are, like I said, they are chocolate covered wafer bar. So the, the outside is wafer, the inside has hazelnut, and the outside is chocolate. So, and it comes with three of them. For even $1.25, that is a fantastic price, especially if you like the hazelnut chocolate. It reminds me of a Bueno by the Kinder Company. So these will probably either go, they'll get separated out. I have stuff for people. For Easter and all that so that stuff will get it will get pieced out because I am not eating it I can tell you that much and then I did find which I was super excited to find is the glad clinging seal which is better than the other like the saran wrap um, but it keeps it wrap in freshness uh, portion prepare steaming protecting so you can put this in the microwave and this one comes with 60 feet, so that's pretty great. You get 33% more. I did grab two. I'm just gonna put one in my cabinet and one in my drawer. I'm out of cling wrap. So the other stuff I really like is the press and seal, but this is a great deal if you're in need of this. And especially what I've been hearing, I'm not a prepper, but I've been hearing um, shortages, price increases. So I'm like, well, if I need, you know, grab it now before it's, you know, more expensive. And if it's just me, this, this measurement's perfect for me. I don't use it a whole heck of a lot, but, um, you definitely, I definitely use it. Um, oh, speaking of the roller glue, I love this roller tape. You don't get a ton, but it's perfect for crafting. I use it in my planner and I also use it 
with these post-its. So if I want something to stick, I just roll a piece of tape and then stick it to the back of this and it stays. But these are great little pieces. Um, you get 9.85 feet, so probably like four and a half feet on each one, I would say. But that's perfect for me. It's a great deal, two of them for a buck. And I, again, I don't use a ton of it, but when I need it, I have it. And I have been, I think I mentioned in a couple videos, I have been just kind of restocking some of my crafts. Ooh, sorry, I kicked you. Some of my craft stuff that I, you know, utilize over the year and I run out of. I grabbed some of this Swabatel. I'm not a fabric softener user, typically. But it smells good enough. I mean, it smells like fabric softener. I have a lot of that uh, fleece that gets so staticky. So you mix a little bit of this with some water and a spray bottle and you spray down your staticky stuff and it let it dry. You just mist it real quick and it's like static guard and it it reduces the static. And I also, sometimes if I have like flannel sheets, I may put a little bit of this on a uh, washcloth or something and throw it in there for a few minutes just to freshen up and to keep the static at bay. So mostly I use it for static purposes and I didn't have any. And I was having some static issues, guys. All right, just a few more things. I grabbed this bag with the pink on the side. I gave both of the dog ones away. So I just had to get myself one. So I grabbed the plain hearts, which is fine. I think these are fun. Typically I store crafty bits in here. In my garage, I have reusable shopping bags for the grocery store. And, and then these plastic bags, I will tell you, I use for cat litter. Um, I found, I've never seen these and I found Literally one package in the four stores I go to. But this is Yardley brand of London, disposable washcloth, alcohol-free and rich with aloe vera, chamomile, vitamin E, cleans, moisturizes, soothes, and refreshes skin. Okay, I will tell you when I go backpacking, I bring these because I use them at night to freshen up. I just take however many nights I'm gonna have, this is how many of these I would grab. Not packages, but individual wipes. If you're flying, if you're tra doing a long car ride, if you're whatever, a quick fresh up at the gym, if you go to the gym in the morning before work or take a lunch break and go for a walk, you just wanna freshen up, that, this is fantastic. You get 18 of them, uh, not flushable because it's not a diaper wipe or a bathroom wipe, it's a body wipe. And so you just freshen up, you know, your body. I think these are fantastic and I hope I hope it's something that they carry on the regular because I, I liked the mod ones. That's what I took last summer with me. Now, backpacking, you really want something that doesn't have a scent to it, but I can put these in with my food and hang them in a tree and that's fine. But these are great for that. I only got one because I'm not, it's not summertime, so I don't really need them. But if you see them and you do any type of that, you know, activities where you might need something like that, they have it. Um, I also purchased the mirror that everybody has been purchasing. I got it in black. And I, I know I used to have one of these similar at my office when I worked at the bank, in the bank, uh, on my desk. So I could like, oh, do I have a, it's a nice mirror. It's a nice big mirror. I mean, it's, here, you can look at yourself. It's a nice big mirror. There's one, but what I like is that you can set it on your desk or on a surface if you need some, it's a nice mirror. And I like the black and white. They also came in a burgundy color one, but I grabbed that one just to have in my makeup package probably. And then the last thing I got was Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I need to do a little research because I'm not sure if there's specific qualities of Hyaluronic Acid um, or is it, is it all the same? I, I don't know that answer, but I'm trying to see if there's any ingredients, but it appears it's just hyaluronic acid. Oh, water, glycerin, propylene glycol. So hyaluronic acid is like the last ingredient. So I'm gonna say that 
probably the level of hyaluronic acid. It's got a little medicinal value and this is very thick compared to some of the other hyaluronic acids that I use, but I'm, I am willing to try it. Um, this promotes moisturize, moisture in your skin. So I've been watching some dermatologists and from what I'm gathering, when this is how I use it, I get out of the shower, my skin is moist, I put on some hyaluronic acid, I do my forehead, between my eyes, my nose, my chin, my neck then I immediately go after it with moisturizer. You can't just use hyaluronic acid serum, they say, because it will dry your skin out. But this helps lock the moisture in. So wet skin, this moisturizer, and then I let it dry while I'm getting dressed, and then I do my hair. And that's my morning routine. It says you can use it twice a day, but I've only typically used it once a day. I'm currently using another brand right now that I got at Sephora. It was not expensive either. It was like $10. Uh, and it's just straight hyaluronic acid. So I grabbed this to try. I mean, you can't, can't hurt. I mean, I guess it could, but let's hope it doesn't. All right. Well, so much for my quick haul. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, comment below. It does help my channel. It helps me bring you more content. All right, everybody have a great day. Bye.